The Fermi paradox, named after the physicist Enrico Fermi, is the apparent disparity between the high probability estimates for intelligent civilizations and the lack of evidence. In simpler terms, if we are so sure that they exist, then where are they? There have been many attempts to answer the Fermi paradox, which generally fall into three categories. They exist but, they don't exist because, or they are here unobserved. There are no other ways to start your answer to the paradox. Therefore, one of these statements must be true, and they are all equally terrifying. For the purposes of this video, we will assume alien life does exist, as this is the most probable scenario according to the Drake equation. This leaves us with two possible avenues. Let's first look at why they might like to remain unobserved. Considering the vastness of the universe, and the fact that we still don't know if it's infinite or not beyond our observable zone, keeping quiet might be a very good idea. In a universe of infinite possibilities, it is extremely likely that it does contain some very nasty, super powerful alien civilizations. Maybe young, naive civilizations, like the one we have here on Earth, who send signals every direction into space with no second thought. Maybe those civilizations don't last long at all. We are effectively advertising our position into a universe of infinite possibilities, where one possibility is an evil alien race. The late Professor Stephen Hawking also took this view, warning humanity shortly before his death. In this scenario, it would be best for intelligent civilizations to remain quiet, which would explain why we haven't heard from aliens yet. Another potential answer to the paradox is known as the Zoo Hypothesis. This hypothesis states that for some reason, advanced alien civilizations might be keeping us in a well-designed zoo, cutting us off from all outside contact. The reason for keeping us in this enclosure is widely debated, with some experts theorising that advanced aliens might view us as a very dumb species, a bit like we would view ants here on Earth. There are 7 billion people on planet Earth, and I've never heard of anyone trying to make contact or give scientific knowledge to ants. So maybe an intergalactic treaty was signed to leave Earth untouched as a sort of wildlife reserve. Another interesting answer to the paradox is that they have already visited Earth, yet we as a species have just forgotten. Millions of people believe in this so-called ancient astronaut theory. Many of our ancient structures, for example the Great Pyramids or Stonehenge, are thought to have been built by these aliens as a way for us to figure out their visitation in the future. In fact, some believe that the world religions were inspired by aliens, as most religions mention gods or angels coming down from the sky and performing miracles. We'll leave this idea at that point, because someone could make a 14 season documentary series based on this idea alone. Aliens might be so advanced that they are all around us, we just can't detect them. If they are here unobserved, it would be quite unsettling, but we would never be able to prove it, as we can't observe them. Let's now imagine that they do exist, but they aren't or haven't ever been here. They exist but, they didn't have time to reach us. Our small brains often find it difficult to comprehend just how big space and time is. Maybe an advanced civilization has already detected us, and they've sent us a message at the speed of light. Depending on how far away they are, it could probably still take hundreds of years for it to reach us. They exist, but we don't recognise them. Aliens could be so advanced that they no longer resemble our primitive life form. They might be so advanced that they've discovered new methods of communication that we can't yet comprehend. Imagine if we discovered a basic civilization in another solar system. We would send a small probe to collect data, and then imagine we saw pictures of buildings. The first thing we would do is try to send radio signals to communicate. But if this civilization is still in the Iron Age and they haven't invented radio, then this would be pointless. Maybe advanced aliens are already trying to communicate with us. 
we just don't understand the medium of their communication. There are many more answers to the Fermi paradox, far too many to explain in detail. You can find them yourself by searching online. If you have your own answers to the paradox, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching.